than it's been before. They pasta, promised. pasta? Yeah. Or is that fasta, pasta? No, whatever whatever you prefer, potato, potato. Oh, faster, pastor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Does yeah. this mean that we're going to have pasta on the program yes, today, we are. Uncle Laban? We're, yes, it does, and it means Ooh. that we're going to show you how to do do. Do 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 And the two sauces, mind. right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for those of you that are proud of your spaghetti sauce recipe that takes two or three days to make, forget it. Turn the set off right now. Don't watch because we're going to insult you. Anyway, let's uh, look at the... Uh, well, that doesn't seem very nice, Well, Laban. I mean, let's face it. Let's just get right down to it. Just tune us out. Or if you think you can take the heat in our kitchen, stay on. All right, let's go. Oh, excuse me. Let's I was look at the, so let's totally look at the mail. So totally infatuated <laughs> with what you were saying there. Well, why uh, is Rudolph on the table? That was last week. Oh, it's Christmas in these parts. Well, it's the holiday season. I mm -hmm. mean, it's the season to be jolly. And it goes on for a great length around here. <laughs> because every day is Christmas at Blue Ridge Public yes. Television. Uh -huh. Dear friends, <laughs> I caught your show of such and such date on Channel 38 here in Arlington. That is uh, the one that serves D.C. area, by the way. Uh -huh. Uh, where Ronald Reagan watches our show. Oh, yes. The uh, one where you or prepared did. a filet of sole with tomatoes stuffed with cheddar cheese. I got a big charge out of your horsing around like I used to do myself about 150 or 200 years ago. I'm a widower living alone and if you guys have a few simple recipes laying around that require no brains to prepare, well, hey, you're in the right department here. Would appreciate your sending them to me. Sincerely, Fred Micko of Arlington, Virginia. Fred, nice to have you up in the nation's yeah. capital nearby and all that. Oh, Bly, you remember, yes. remember about six or eight months ago, Ms. Witch, mm. our faithful secretary, mm. Mm. Uh, had children. She yes. had a pair of twins and yeah. we asked people to send in and tell us what the twins should be named. Yes. Well, some people took us up on it and <laughs> Charles and Alma Hoffman from right here in this city, Roanoke, mm -hmm. Virginia, mm -hmm. Star City of the South, four-time All-America City. Oh, for oh heaven's yes, sake. well it's true. Um, anyway, they wrote in and they said, Dear Larry, Lave and Witchy. <laughs> it's Lave, not, not Buh. Give, book, it, give book. it up, give it up. Watch my lips. You've been, All right, anyway. You've been here 48 years <laughs> The and no twin one knows witches, it yet. witchlets, should be named Boo and Who. Huh. When you create a kitchen disaster, which you do now and then, the yeah. little ones could sing, Boo Who, you made a Boo Who, Boo Boo, you too. Oh, and then Shoot. this, I, I've got to show this. This is, I guess, James, maybe. This is from the Hodge family, but I, I can't read the writing too well. But I think it's James, age five sent in this letter and said, Dear Larry and Labden, the baby witches should be snitch and twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that, yeah, snitch I and did. twitch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Here's one with Easter eggs and bunnies on it, so it must have been mailed about uh, Easter bunny time. Dear Larry and Laban, how are you? I am fine. This is funny. Says, Could I have the recipes for show 820 and 822? I don't and don't give us Laban's recipe on 822. <laughs> we get you on Chanel 47, it says on PBS. Sincerely, Jason Todd Mullins, it says, B.S., I am nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> it says it right there. It says, B.S., I am nine years old. <laughs> well, Jason. No stuff, Jason. But hey, anyway. Jason, ah, you know, you don't want my recipe. All right, you're hey, not going to get it, take it but I'm coming to your house. Don't take it personally. I'm coming to your house, Jason. You're going to love it when you see me. Well, why don't we come How on old a... is this twerp? Oh, no, we don't B.S., I am nine. You are not a twerp. You're one of our good viewers. Let's go to the kitchen. I don't think a good viewer before would you get us all been in trouble. so insulted in my life. Well, of course you have. Only five <laughs> minutes ago before we went on air, it was a staff member. Anyway, All right. I am going to do something I can't even pronounce, but oh. I have tried. It's from the bologna section. <laughs> bolognese sauce. Bolognese sauce. Right. And this is an interesting sauce, Italian-style sauce, in that it contains no Italian herbs whatsoever or spices, yet it has a very distinctive Italian taste. Well, that's and quite delightful, I must say. And I made up a batch of it yesterday, and it's just real good. <laughs> and I'm going to make up another Ooh, batch of it right now. Woo. And I'm doing a, a, just a regular spaghetti sauce called Simp Sauce. 
Watch your mouth. It's very simple. Any simp out there could do it. And the thing is, if, if real Italian cooks would laugh at anybody that spent three days making their sauce, because you don't need to spend that long. And as a matter of fact, you'd cook all the flavor out of everything you did if you spent that long. So those of you that spend a lot of time cooking your tomato sauce, you ought to readjust the time on it and you can watch what we're doing here. Now Larry, let me just show them what I'm going to start to do and then you can take off on it. I've got a pound and a half of ground round that I'm browning in this pan and I'm going to add to it three cloves of garlic that I'm going to squash here in a minute. And then from there I'll add the rest of the recipes and we'll do the whole sauce before the show is over today. All right. First thing we're going to do is start heating up just a little margarine. As a matter of fact, a half a stick of margarine, and it's right hot right now. Well, I tell you, this thing goes, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to chop up a few <laughs> things to go <laughs> in it. What's wrong? Did someone smack you for something you oh, said earlier? Just mashed this garlic. Oh, so I was I thinking can... finally he'd got his comeuppance. Anyway, we're going to chop some onions up here. Nice, uh, good size. It says a half a cup. It's a small onion to a medium onion. I'm going to take that, I'm going to put it in there and start just cooking it right on top of the stove a little bit. I'm going to take some carrots. I have some fresh carrots <laughs> right out of the bag. Excuse me, I have already developed an extraordinary problem with my eye. I can't see out of it. Oh, no, you've lost I've your vision. I've got to wash these carrots a little bit. Oh, I thought, well, are you going blind or what? No, I just chopped some onions and oh. it got in my eye. Oh, take I Take a little bit of... A carrot here, it actually calls for a half a cup. That's about two or three good ones I've discovered. And, and cut them fairly, fairly, fairly thin. Normally I would take all this scrunge off the outside of this. I don't do things normally on this program, but if you want to take time with it, you can. Just make sure they're good and clean. The scrunge on it looks bad, but it's not really too terribly bad for you. Although it may give you some kind of conniption fit if you eat too much of it. So we're going to just chop a whole, but this is my famous, Laban, this is my famous cut three uh, carrots oh. simultaneously trick. Well, isn't that Let's amazing? Let's see Chef Tell do that. Well, so, I'm sure he does it every day. Or some of those others. So we're going to take that. Now, what you do is you start throwing this stuff in and you just cook it. That's enough. I'm tired of it. Just cook it for about two minutes on top of the stove. I'm going to put some of that in there too. And there's one other thing that goes in with that. And if I gave it a little bit of thought, I'd remember what it was. Excuse me, I gotta go over here. Thanks so much. Oh, lean ham, lean ham. You remember the lovely lean ham. And because I only wanted a little bit and I didn't want a big ham the size of Laban, or the size of I his head even, pardon. which was just, you know, big. I don't want that, so I went out and just bought a little, little packet of, of some lean ham. And it's real tasty. This is some pepper ham, black peppered ham. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's good. See, it's got little black peppers all uh -huh. over. And I'm going to take that out of there. That's no mean trick. And we're going to chop that up, and we're going to put that in there with the onions and with the carrots. And it's going to be real good. Just take it. Excuse and me. Chop you've it. got a. What's wrong? Has one of my carrots gone yes, a wayward it, way? It certainly has, but it's in the pot now. Well, I'm so happy. I'm going to take that and just sliver it up a little bit, and then, did you see that? Want to see it again? All right. Turn it the other way and do it that way, and just chop it up. Thank you. And put that in there also. This is a big chopping board. I almost can't lift it. What would you do if you had a wimpy person down here? Well, just... We do. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but he's running camera. I mean, I mean, on the set. Okay, now, you're going to do that up on top of the stove, just real easy. Take it easy, greasy. you got a long way to slide. Remember that? Anyway, for two minutes, approximately, and then we'll start putting some other stuff in there. This is a wonderful recipe. It really is. Now, while you're waiting for that, it's probably a good time to, to find out if you've got some good wine. So, now back to Laban. Oh, thanks, Lair. Well, now, I'm ready to start adding some other ingredients over here to my spaghetti. Now, my garlic has cooked in there with the meat. And now I'm going to add two cups of crushed tomatoes. Oh, I'm crushed. Right. So, there's one cup. And here's the Excuse other cup. Excuse me, but I have had a terrible thing happen. What? I have left. I am suffering from a, fla a flaccid 
uh, spatula. Oh, no. It's just terrible. It has been on the stove so long that it ain't no good for nothing. Well, how terrible. Thank you very much. Now, I now have a wooden spoon, which is excellent for this, and I have never seen a wooden spoon become flaccid. Okay, go ahead. All right, now, uh, we've got... Um, what did I do with that greasy thing? It fell we, down there. We've got uh, the two cups of tomato sauce, yeah, and now minutes. we're going to add a whole can of tomato paste. Tomato paste. Uh, oh, You've got the sweetest small. little tomato paste. Ooh. Ooh. You know, Ooh. I'm still amazed Gross. that as great as that idea is about having tomato sauce in a tube like toothpaste that we don't have more of them carried in the supermarkets around. Well, you're absolutely right, but I found out yesterday what the great disadvantage to them is. You know how, like when you get to the end of a, a toothpaste roll, how you got to kind of get uh -huh. in there and squish it around? Well, yesterday I was doing it this way and it went, and went all over a brand new sweater and a pair of pants that I had. Um. But it is a wonderful idea. Now, I'm going to take about a pound of ground round and we'll just should we put the spaghetti in we'll just crumble it in here put spaghetti in Laban put the pasta in the pot and we're just going to take that and what we'll do now is we will brown this now this stuff is all going to just get wonderful together look at that this is a beautiful dish I'm not kidding you this is wonderful it really is now Larry as I put this in I'm going to add some olive oil to it so that it will stay separate. Well, and, Papa, I said you'd been messing around right. with it. And now to my, I've got my little can of tomato paste added here, and I'm going to add now a can of beef broth. This is not the concentrated kind, just plain old beef broth. And that's going in here, and I'll continue to stir this around. All right, that's still doing just great. And we'll let that cook some more. Can I have a little salt over there? Thanks. Yeah, but let me have about a teaspoon of salt right here. Doesn't call for it, but I'm there gonna add go. just a little tad bit to the top of it here, because it just needs a little bit, I've decided. All right, you can there keep you it. Oh, well, thank I'll you. Put it's it mighty kind. That's the first thing you ever gave me in your whole life. And I'm gonna put some pepper. I'm gonna put about a, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Where they're out there making signs that would defy. Oh dear, Doris. Ah. I, yeah, I need. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you so much. Well, there seems to be down. an awful lot of underground stuff going on here on the program. I don't understand any of them. I'm continuing to fry my my ground round up a little bit here and you've got to get it all brown before you're ready to start adding the really good stuff. So you can see it's just starting to brown a little bit there and all of this is carrot stuff will get done too, okay? Meanwhile I'm going to have some beef broth and tomato paste and wine and I'm going to take a I'm going to take a lemon and I'm just going to get a little bit of the peel and just take it right off of there because we're going to put a piece of that peel in there. It will definitely make a difference in the flavor. Believe me, it will. And Bly, I'm putting... What? An appealing flavor. An appealing flavor. Mm. Boy, I want to tell you. I'm putting in a couple of little bay leaves or one down in my sauce. Now let's check and see how are we doing here with the spaghetti. Oh, it's separating. SpaghettiOs? No, no. Did you put a little oil in that? Yes, I did. That's a good tip, boys and girls. Put a little oil in your water so that your, your old spaghetti won't stick together there in a big clump when it comes out. And well, now I'm slicing up uh, half a pound of mushrooms that are going to go into this sauce. Oh, no. Don't tell me we've got to watch you do another pound of mushrooms. Half pound. You know, I have seen you do at least seven billion pounds of mushrooms since we started this show. Mm-hmm. Well, while you're doing that, I may as well go on ahead and save the show. Oh. I'm going to add. <laughs> thank you. I swear, sometimes two tablespoons you just of, wonder what in the world gets into that. Two boy. tablespoons of tomato paste. There's a little paste of the tomato. 
That's two of them. I thought you'd already put that in. No, sir, I had not. <laughs> oh, Thank that's you. right. I put it in mine. Thank you. I think you're getting confused. Six shows in one day, you get a little confused. Now, also a strip of lemon peel. That is a strip of lemon peel. And this is the peel that gave up its strip. There you go. And put that in there. And two cups of beef broth. A little bit more than that. I'll have to put a little water in there. I don't have any more. And a cup of white wine. Now be very careful when you're putting that wine in there. And that's all. And then you will cook it for 45 minutes on top of the stove. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Cook one hour. You're wrong. And then you remove from the heat and you take out the, the peel. Just before you serve it, you will take out this peel and you will add uh, whipping cream. And we're going to do that just before we, mm -hmm. we hit the pasta with it a little bit later yeah, on. Myself. And just let it simmer right on top of the stove just like that. And when you get finished, when you get finished, it will look like that. Real pretty. Very lovely. Now, my sauce. It's amazing. Is, uh, is what? Disgusting? No, no. Good? No, it's fair? It's doing just, oh, dear. Here's a whole lot of spaghetti that needs to come unglued here. I don't want any of it to stick to the bottom here. So you, you might want to stir this occasionally if you put it in as haphazardly as I did a few minutes ago. Well, Ava, my and recipe now, is almost over. Well, so. mine, maybe we could look at the recipes right now. Simp sauce, simp sauce. Simp sauce, quarter cup of oil, and I'm using olive oil because it's proven to be good for your heart. Three cloves of garlic, minced, uh, one and a half pounds of ground round, two cups of Italian tomatoes, one small can of tomato paste, uh, one can of beef, beef broth, Salt and pepper to taste, a bay leaf, which is optional, uh, basil to taste, and uh, mushrooms. And I used a half a pound. And I'm going to be throwing in a goodly tablespoon right now of basil into this delicious sauce. All right, Larry? Oh, yes, uh, the uh, Bolognese sauce. Oh, a swear. half a stick of margarine. If you can't say it, you shouldn't eat it. A half a cup of chopped lean ham. A half a cup of carrots chopped all up real good there. A half a cup of onions all chopped up real good there. One pound of ground round. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. A strip of lemon peel, just to cook it in. Uh, two cups of beef broth, a cup of white wine, and a half cup of whipping cream, which you will add at the last minute, just as you're getting ready to take it off the heat, which I'm getting ready to do. In fact, I think that I will go right on ahead. It says add whipping cream and serve. How long after do we you have? Take the limits. You after, got oh, yeah. Seven oh, minutes. excuse me. Oh, well, we can't do it. Just yet. It's the greatest of plenty of time. I'm just a little nervous. I wanted to get out of here. And, uh -huh. Because you're, so you're I'm going to take it out now right. and go home. Goodbye. All right, now my mushrooms are cooking down in this sauce. Ooh, that looks pretty. Mm -hmm. And it you see, does. it's a perfectly respectable sauce well, it already. Is. Of course, the taste will determine that mm -hmm. inevitably. Yes. In the final analysis. And we've got our pasta cooking in the greatest of plenty of water, which is another good thing to do. Don't cook your pasta in a little bitty saucepan with just a couple of cups of water because that will leave it pasty. It's not good that way. You need the more water, the better. Do you drain yours pasta. after you take it out? In Absolutely. The colander? Yeah. 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 But now some macaronis, you don't do that. Well, it depends, it depends on how the long recipe. you cooked them. And yeah. you know, there are all kinds of pastas. And go go to the store and try those different things. Some of them you may like a great deal. Others you won't. Uh, Larry's bolognese sauce you can use for things that are composed like lasagna. That's what a bolognese sauce is used for more than anything else, a good old lasagna. Or any other kind of casserole type dish, while the one I've done, you serve over any kind of pasta. And it is fun to try those other shapes. Now, we're, we're just using plain old spaghetti today, but there are all kinds of different shapes of pasta. There's you know the macaroni and the fettuccine, the linguine, all those different kinds of uh, pastas. They're all essentially the same thing. They're just shaped differently. Penne is another one that looks like a feather. So they are the greatest of plenty of fun. Can you get those at the J.C. Penne uh, uh -huh. store? Oh, oh, you know you can. I was can. just asking. Yes. You know, a little uh -huh. Italian chain store. But anyway, well, how's it coming along, Laban? Well, mine is coming along just fine, and this is a 
good spaghetti sauce in next to no time at all. You know why you take your lemon peel out? Why? Because someone will choke on it? No. I mean, I would be not at all surprised to see that happen. No, if you leave it in there it, long enough, it'll get bitter. And then if you uh, leave it in there after Whoops. you add your cream, it could make your cream curdle, too. Oh, no. Yeah. Not that. And is that another oh, piece I of have, it? Oh, no, you awful. cheated I at home. cheated a little you bit. You added two pieces. Well, it just smelled so gosh darn good. And oh, I said, well, if one will be swear. good, two will be twice as good. And so I did. Are we keeping you up, Doris? No. Doris right. is yawning Doris, and looking no, at her watch right. off the well, camera. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Let's it's, see if the spaghetti is ready. What? Oh, no, not this again. Here yeah. we go, ladies and gentlemen, the old. Oh, no. Well, well wait a minute. Try, try it again. Try, try it again. again. Yay. It's ready. It's ready. Sticks to the, if it sticks to your cabinet door, then it's ready. And there it is. So, yes, uh, indeed. That's real lovely, uh, Laban. Let's leave it up there. All right. Well, we will. Uh, it, maybe it, it's it, time for the kitchen witch to fly in, do uh -huh. you suppose? Yes. Uh, kitchen witch could possibly Where is she? fly in, perhaps. Uh, she's around somewhere. Um, I heard she was coming by way of Chicago. To <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 wait a minute. No, whoa, whoa. No. Oh, oh, how no, terrible. terrible. Oh, it's, oh it's, <laughs> it's not a pretty sight. Oh, oh, oh my swear. heaven. Poor witch. <laughs> oh, she's dead. She she's had a dead in Dixie. <laughs> she, she had a coronary she on the way in. She had a little witch coronary. Now, I don't want to. Now, what are we going to do with this? Her lifeline <laughs> is broke. Here, hand that to Doris. <laughs> Throw out the lifeline. Get out your hymnals. All right. Uh, this says. Oh, she did. She just went. <laughs> this is an appropriate letter for today. Dear guys, pork, 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 Sadie Ham. <laughs> well, That's one of the more meaningful letters we've had in a long well, time. Pork, 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 pork. Uh, Sadie, uh, I guess you want pork recipes, so next week we'll pork it up around here, which, uh, what else is new? What are we having? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I suspected that. Because I had heard anything about yeah, it myself. But anyway, All right, let's, that's good. I'm going to dump out this uh, water and drain this spaghetti. Here's your oh, colander. No, oh, don't I, do it without I, the colander. I, By heavens, the fool almost dumped it directly into the sink without the colander. Woo! It's a, it's, he's done a great job, though. It really, it's steaming, it's steaming, it's steaming. It's stuck to the bottom of my pan. I'm going to add a half a cup of whipping cream. To this. I'm going to go ahead and add it now. It's time to, to serve it and I'm going to add that in and just stir it around a little bit. That's just before you're ready to serve it at the table, which we just about are. In fact, the heat is off on that so that we don't curdle our lovely milk, our cream, as it were. We ready? Well, I'm going to go over and, and serve the pasta onto our plates and then we'll bring the salsa. Ooh! Ooh, that sloshed over on my large and ample stomach. He'll be back in a moment, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to another studio. No, <laughs> it's terrible. He's on. Do you want another program? Uh, you bet your pasta. Uh, another program. We well, each get two can helpings. Can I bring this over now? Yeah, we'll, we'll get two helpings of pasta so that we don't. Well, I hope we can delineate one from the other. Our sauces here. Merge our sauces. I hope we can delineate one from the other. Oh, it's beautiful. It really mm -hmm. is just lovely, lovely, lovely. We have done it again, ladies and gentlemen. Just when you thought we couldn't do anything right ever again, we've done millions yeah, of Doris, things I'll right. Take it. Thank you so much. All right, now. Well, <clears throat> Laban would be here, but he's drained. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> At the sink. I'm going to try this and see how it is. It smells well, now, delightful. Here, let me. I can tell. Oh, my heavens, don't put that on my arm. He sloshed it over into mine, so I can't tell what mine tastes like anymore. <laughs> mm. oh, it tastes like bologna. Oh, it does not. No, it's really good. Uh, I'm telling you, it is wonderful. Well, goodness gracious, this spaghetti is. Mm, mm, mm. I'm having problems here. What is it? Is it right tough it's on you? It's hot, and it's uh, reeling it in is a little tough. I could use a good. A good reel. Mm. Oh, it's just wonderful. Now, I haven't tried your sauce yet. This is your famous 10 minutes or less sauce. Simp sauce. Simp sauce. Ooh, boy. The Bologna mm. sauce was it's fabulous. Good. The Bologna sauce. Oh, it. we got to go already? Get out well, of here. Bye.